Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. First of all, a big congratulations to all of you who have qualified CSIR December 2024 exam. Be it for JRF, be it for LS or for PhD only, whatever category you have qualified for, a big congratulations to you. This is one of the highest cutoff which we have seen in last many years. So a big round of applause for you. Okay. Now uh, I have been moving from last few days to a new apartment. I was shifting to a new apartment and that's why I was not make I was not able to make videos in that time and I have still not moved properly. I have not made the proper setup uh, how to record video. I'm just recording it randomly. So the audio quality and video qualities are maybe not that up to the mark. But still I was here to talk about certain things because I was getting a lot of messages and DMs regarding that. So I thought to make a video and discuss about that in detail. Uh, before going into that, let me tell you that I have uh, been talking about this exam. How is it changing? Why the cutoff and everything is going up? I'll be talking about a detailed analysis of that. I'm doing that. And once I'll be getting up with my setup, I'll be making that video. So please subscribe the channel and stay tuned for that video. Okay. Now let's talk about a very important thing, which many of you have asked me that your scorecard suggested certain percentage uh, which is more than the cutoff which you have got but still your name is not in the list of qualified candidates why is that so and many of you are confused about it many of you are panicking about it and you think that there is certain mistake which csr is doing or there is certain mistake with csr which has been done so i am here to clarify that okay uh, first of all let's understand that these are two different things one is percentile which you have got in your scorecard and other is percentage which you have seen in the cutoff uh, in the cutoff uh, like uh, the notice which was there okay where the different cutoff for different category and different subjects was there okay now what is the difference between them so percentile is basically about your score compared to the toppers score okay so how much marks you have got compared to the one who has topped this exam who has been the topper of this exam so how much marks you have got that is basically your percentile that's in your scorecard that could be more than like that could be 61 uh, percent or 62 percent or it could be more even more than that even people have got 99 point some percentile so that is percentile okay and if you remember a few days back i posted a video where i discussed about uh, how to convert that percentile to your probable rank uh, based upon the general formula which CSIR has suggested so that is percentile okay that is totally different thing the other thing which they have mentioned is in the cutoff that is basically percentage out of 200 okay because your CSIR net exam is of 200 marks so if the cutoff says that your cutoff should be 59.5 percent that means your marks should be 59.5 percent of 200 which comes around 118.5 so if your marks is 118.5 then only you will be able to cross that cutoff okay many people get confused because their percentile is let's say 65 percent or 63 percent but the cutoff shows that only 59 point something is needed for jrf so they are expecting their name in the jrf list no it's not like that your 63.5 or whatever you have got in your scorecard is a different thing that is percentile percentile is your score compared to the topper not based upon the total score okay that is just compared to the topper so if let's say there were 100 students you are the 61th students that's what it means in general your percentile okay whereas over here it means that your marks how much marks you have got to pass down the jrf category so that is what they have mentioned so if 59 percent is the cutoff for a general category for chemical science so 59 percent of 200 marks over here in the cutoff that becomes 118 marks so you need to score 118 or more than that to qualify that both are totally different things don't get confused i hope this clears your doubt and a lot of you have queries regarding your preparation a lot of people a lot of you have appeared for this exam multiple times and you were not able to do it uh, many of you are reaching out to me on instagram i'm trying to help as many as possible I'm trying to reply as many of you as possible so yeah if you have any genuine query which i have not covered out in my videos so you can reach out to me on my instagram i'll be there to talk with you and uh, try i'll try to figure out what are the things which are going wrong but uh, i'll be making more videos about it i'll be talking about 
what are the strategies which you can make based upon the changing uh, like exam pattern okay what are the things that you can include what are the things that you can ignore what are the things that you can include what are the things that you can improve okay so the all these videos are coming up let me get settled on properly and then uh, we'll be talking about all these things in detail okay so that's it from my side for this particular video i hope uh, you guys are doing well and i hope you have scored a good marks uh, do let me know if you have any questions that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hello everyone i just wanted to let you guys know that our delta batch is already live on our app as well as on our website link is there in the description of this video you can quickly enroll into this particular batch in this batch we are providing detailed classes for physical chemistry all the chapters all the topics of physical chemistry in detail all these lectures are in the recorded form so whenever you want you can watch these videos the second most important thing of this batch is we are providing with mock test now these are topic wise mock test as well as mixed mock test and full length mock test so after completion of every topic we have a mock test associated with it and then after finishing three or four topics we have a combined mixed mock test and at the end of the course at the end of this batch we have a full physical chemistry mock test which contains a lot of new and previous years question mixed all together which is going to help you to evaluate how much you have performed well how much you have studied a topic and this is going to give you a good idea about your uh, like how much physical chemistry you have understood the classes are made in a way that it will be useful for csr net exam so please enroll into this particular batch link is there in the description of this video